The tremendous success and even worldwide fame of many Canadian YouTubers in the absence of government regulation should invite questions about the necessity of Bill C-11. Bill C-11 is not an ill-intentioned piece of legislation, but it is a bad piece of legislation. I think if 4.2 stays in unamended, we've passed a bill that includes the entire internet. I feel as a digital creator, if 4.2 goes in as it stands, that I have, then I have to go look for a full-time job. For somebody else to come in and push me aside uh, and, and to dictate what my audience wants to see, I, I can't fight that. Bill C-11 is a new bill that puts websites like YouTube and any streaming services under the authority of the CRTC, the Canadian Radio and Television and Telecommunications Commission. So what that essentially means is there's new nationalistic rules around which content gets seen and which content gets buried. Because what's to prevent an authoritarian government from sort of saying like, well, we want to protect our cultural sovereignty too, and that's why we need to regulate YouTube and make sure that only good patriotic, you know, content is seen and we'll, you know, play around with the algorithm to ensure that only the sort of patriotic content that we believe our people should see will get boosted in their feeds and their subscriber counts and all that kind of stuff. Th this is a real sort of old-fashioned way of thinking about Canada and thinking about Canadian culture. Let's talk about freedom and choice, values that all Canadians hold dear. Right now, virtual codes known as algorithms are set up on the internet to show Canadians more content that they love. Personal choice is honoured in this process. Bill C-11 will change that. And so not only do we have this massive press collusion with the government that's absolutely unconscionable in a Western democracy, and, and, but we also have now the government clamping down more viciously than in any other developed country on the freedom for Canadians to get access to all of the, all of the information on the internet, not just that produced by Canadians. Basically, all the social media you have would be manipulated by government bureaucrats using secretive criteria to determine what they want you to see. They say that right now the internet that you're consuming is not Canadian enough, and they get to decide what is Canadian for you. I don't know if they mean maple syrup or beaver tails, or just that you have to have a steady stream of left-wing liberal propaganda 